Good evening, and it's a Thursday evening, and tonight, not working on this, to and fro work, commuting today, fun, that's fun. Um, working again on the Corona, and this time it's the master cylinder, rear brake master cylinder, which I think is why my brakes completely failed the other day. Um, but yes, that's tonight's little episode. The other night, I couldn't quite get these screws to move initially. Um, they were Allen bolts. They rounded out. So I cut a slot in them and was using the old impact driver with a large mallet. And that wouldn't have it. So I heated them up and then used the impact driver and got them out, luckily enough. Yeah, pretty much C solid. Since then, I've done um, M6 thread, what's it called? Tap through the holes, clean the thread up so it's all good. The bolts will be replaced. So that was aggravation. Um, but I didn't film any of it, I just got on and did it. But now, I'm going to get on and do this I think it's not very handy that that's got the electronics in the back and there's nowhere local to unplug it I don't know how far in that goes do I investigate that first um, how would it help? I've still got to take that off to release all that. So let's go with getting some rag. Okay, big towel underneath it. I think I'm going to put the hose clamp on the reservoir one. Um, just to try and speed things up really now I should only lose a little bit out of that it'll all be replaced all the fluid will be replaced anyway but as I say just to speed things up a bit Hopefully, right, are we ready for the mess? We're ready for the mess. Okay, that's off. Put that back on itself, out the way. Right, now, the connector on the back, which is a 14mm, that looks horribly corroded. Oh, that is, that is, it's, um, let's, um, what? Bolt that back on and try and crack it off. Someone's put a towel in the way. I was going the right way. <laughs> oh, it's a long day at work. That's better. That felt better. 
Yeah. That might need cutting down before I use it. Before anyone starts. Right, now let's take that off. This is where the mess happens. Although it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. That's generally the trouble, <laughs> I don't think. Oh, there you go. That's pretty good. And a couple of extra washers on there. Put a glove on that, stop the shit getting in. Right, that's the master cylinder off. Now to the bench. Set up on the bench then. I've got a few tools. I don't think I've got all the tools I need. That was where my swing arm, where it's the bolt that holds the clamp that clamps the brake line on. Um, the master cylinder was too close to it. Someone's fitted aftermarket uh, rear sets and it's just taken that in, which as you can see has been chewing my master cylinder up. So I need to bring that back out when I've got it apart. Um, but I think first of all is get this rubber off, which is held in with a spring clip. That was where that was where I uh, heated the bolts up when they were seized. It burnt all the rubber as well. I just can't see where the ends of the clip are. Oh, clips underneath. I thought the rubber was held in by the clip. Got that wrong, didn't I? Might get it with the long ones. Right, so I think this was. I don't feel like it now. I thought the the ball joint. Oh yeah, it's got some grind to it. Overall, it doesn't seem too bad. Yes, we can get rid of the clip, I think. Let's just see what's in the kit. Right, Suzuki own part 696-00-04821, which is the newer upgrade for kit. <laughs> 696-00-04820, I believe. Or, I bought the wrong one. But it's a... Suzuki own part as you can see and again I could have bought kit off of eBay non OEM for about 15 quid or was it might have been 20 25 to get all the bits that are in here so that's um, the piston, the spring, rubber, and the new clip. Um, and this was the mighty price of uh, £50.95. I do pay out some money, and I really don't know whether it's necessary. <laughs> 
I thought I could get away with leaving that on as well. It's not looking like that's going to be the case because I won't get the rubber over that. That can definitely come off. Right, I'm going to stick that in my vise and separate those two. I think. Well, I'm going to try it though, anyway. Well, I need some more heat. Anyway, I'm going to do that off camera. And then um, I'll come back and see you. Or do I take that bit off? I'll find out. Well, that was ridiculous. Before I took it over to the vice, I thought I'd just put a 10 mil on there, on this upper nut, whilst hanging onto the bottom edge, and um, it released a lot easier than I thought it ever would. That can go to one side. Now we can get the boot off. So I want to be forcing it over that nut. Do I want to be throwing the nut on the floor? <laughs> As I say, it's been a long day and I shouldn't really be doing this, but uh, I've got a bloke turning up Saturday to use my workshop facilities <laughs> and my expertise <laughs> right oh there it is and my expertise he needs uh, doing something wrong here and I goes the other way no it doesn't I'm going to clean that out before I do that. Right, anyway, piston out. There's a little bit of shit and gunk around this bottom one, but apart from that, it doesn't look too bad. So that spring goes on there, like that. So the tapered edge connects to the which way up are we? That way. Tapered edge of the spring connects to the top edge of the piston. So it goes in like that. Yeah, there's a bit of gunk in there as well. Um, I haven't got a re new seal for that, so I'll leave that alone. Being it's not leaking or anything, I'll give that a clean out because that's not nice at all. Oh, I get some brake and clutch cleaner and start spraying everything. Right, cleaning time. This is where it gets in my face. Need something better to clean that seat off. Right, so all I've got is the it's a steel brush, but it's cleaned that up a treat. I've got to turn the camera back on. Did I say it's been a long day? Right, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, be careful with using a Dremel with the steel debris on because when you are at it the little bristles come out being that i am a blind man i wear safety goggles all the time <laughs> dickhead um what am i doing now I think I am going to take this off and make sure the the thingies 
what are they called, the little gallery, oil way. Is free. Right, the rebuild. Uh, that can get all oh, O-ring fast, dickhead. It's tighter than it was. I don't know the torque specs. And I'm not even going to bother looking them up. So spring in first. Let's um, give them a little wipe and then get some brake fluid. Alright, got a bit of brake fluid. This is mobile. Mobile brake fluid. Dot four. Um, just to, what am I doing? Let's stick a bit in the bore. Like that, that will run down. Spring goes in first, and then just give this a bit of a dousing. Ease it on its way. Oh yeah, you can tell straight away just how fluid it is. Uh, that's next, isn't it? In it. Do I want the boot on? Should I put the boot on first? Put the boot on first. Nah, put it on afterwards. Right, I'm going to put some grease on that. Let me get some grease. I've got too much grease. That should be good. I should put it on this bit, shouldn't I? That would have been bit more sensible like that and then that goes pushes down oh collapsed everything failed <laughs> everything's greasy now <laughs> who put bloody grease over everything Yes, definitely need some different circlet pliers. They weren't happy at all. Oh, look at it. You can just see how smooth that is now. Or maybe you can't. Perhaps you need to borrow my glasses. This is where I regret putting the boot on last. I was going to say, I do regret putting that on last, but uh, I definitely wouldn't have got that circlip in there if I hadn't. So that, and then that. And it was just level with the end. But I'll get it back on the bike and um, see where that needs to be. Excellent. Ordinarily, I would change the washers on this fit in here. The two washers, there's one either side. But, I ain't got any. So, what I believe I'll do is not. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, I think this tail can come out of the way. At a minute. And yeah, that's good enough. Good enough. All right, take this one down. Now, the reservoir pipe. This is the messy one. You can't really see that, can you? Right, reservoir pipe down. It is clamped, but there's still leakage. So, off of the 
master cylinder up to it. Shove that on. Where's my pliers? Get the pliers, pull the clamp down. Let's just try and get that a little bit further down. And you can hear it, well I could hear it going glug 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 as it filled it all up. And then what do we want to do next? I think I'll loosen that union off and I was gonna say pump the brake but the brake's not connected. Don't have to push it up, that should do. Do a couple like that. Or do I connect it all, then do it? I don't think I'm going to get a spanner in there. All right, bring the rag back. Like that. This might be difficult to... Let's see. All right, crack that off a bit. Do it up, let it go. Off, pump, shut. Off, pump, shut. Off, pump, shut. Oh, off, pump, shut, off, pump, ah, oh, there we go, got some fluid that time, off, pump, shut, off, pump, shut, now that seems quite good, so I'll get that back on the bike. Got it, so that's on there. Then, oh, I haven't cut my bolts down. Need to cut my bolts down. Let me go and cut my bolts down. That's them to cut down. Just gonna put some copperies on them. Copper grease, whatever you call it. <laughs> now that I've got it on my hands, can't undo it. Uh oh, misses is it. Yeah, just informing me it's uh, half nine at night. And I should stop playing and come indoors. Nice to a woman. Honestly. Please, can I have another half an hour? Please. And she went, okay then, just this once. Right, anyway, that's enough messing about. That's the whole thing do breed. Oh, there's a little bit of pedal there. Not a lot, but there's no graunch like there was before. So hopefully that has been a cure. Um, right, so it's bleeding it out. I'll get the I'm going to say Abba Skylift then. 
weirdo, get the mighty vac out. Diaphragm was getting sucked down a little bit. Um, yeah, that's horrible in there. So, a little bit of tissue. Take that out. Pour some new stuff in. Hopefully, without spilling it. Sure, my banjo bolts secure. Oh, that's undoing it, dickhead. That's the kitty on there. Tell you what, that's a half a decent pedal, but the other half ain't. Right, move to the back, and I want. 8mm spanner make sure I can undo it yeah. and then might be back on nope. and create some pressure and it also makes sure then you know that this the pipe is actually what am I trying to say? The pipe is actually sealed to the nipple. <laughs> so you get about 10-15 pound of pressure and then crack it off. Just watch the reservoir because uh, the almighty vat can suck it through quite quick. Right, let's do that up. Top that reservoir up. No, dripping, dripping. Don't be dripping. Right, crack it off and Carry on sucking. Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles in that. <laughs> Not really surprising. Shitty the fluid is. I think I'm just starting to draw through the clean stuff. Try that back break. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Came up nice and solid. I'm just going to give it a, a little bit more. Oh yeah, that is, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah baby, solid, solid, nothing, solid, nothing, you get the picture, it's not being perverse, there you go, hopefully a success, as I say before, when I 
push the pedal down there was like a graunch so it was like <coughs> so I think that was messing me up and the seals were probably gone or going and um, I forced it into submission just that way inclined And if I'm getting this right, the diaphragm goes down. The cap allows air in, but the diaphragm doesn't allow, allow the air past it to get to the fluid. But because the air is allowed into the lid above the diaphragm, it has room to take up the um, gap when your brake pads start wearing out, because obviously the, the fluid the, needs more fluid in the caliper to push your brake pads out as they wear down. And um, yeah, that's how it works. So you get air going in your cap between the cap or lid, whatever you want to call it, and the diaphragm, which allows the diaphragm to move down and take up the gap where the fluid would be or if there wasn't that movement it would create a vacuum in the braking system and not brake properly something like that so if you take your, di your lid off and your diaphragm out and your diaphragm's hanging down it means your pads have worn and it's taken up the gap something like that i think i don't i don't know it's not a tutorial, it's just me messing about at 9 on 10 o'clock at night on a Thursday having forgotten to put my heel pad back on, heel plate back on. God damn. Anyway, what I won't forget is to take the spanner off. I think that's tight enough. Yeah. And put my dust cover back on. Oh, that's dodgy, isn't it? An old mighty vac with brake fluid in it, leaning up against your back tyre. That's why I always, before I take it off, I always give it a couple of pumps to create a vacuum, so when you actually take it off, it sucks every last bit off, so you don't end up with drips. That's what I do, anyway. It seems to work for me. Um, anyway, that's me on a Thursday evening, late at night, doing a refurb on my... GSX-R600 in gorgeous Corona colours. Oh, so it's lovely. It's so patinaed. <laughs> Some would say broken. I say patinaed, um, but it's a lovely machine. Um, yeah, me doing my master cylinder refurb, which has created a gorgeous break. So, thanks for watching. Comments down below. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, I might never see you again, which some of you will be pleased about. So I'm gonna switch you off now, and then I'm gonna do this hill guard and put my tools away and then sort off in. But thanks for being there. Catch you again. Ta-ra.